Hey you guys, what's up? Ian here, or IP Media, and today I'm going to be showing you guys this really sick effect that you can use with the Distort, Distort Chroma, which is on Sapphire. It is a plugin, but we're going to be going over it today. So I'm going to show you guys two to three different variations. The first one is just going to be a simple adjustment layer. You're going to go into here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna keyframe it on the first frames. I would say keyframe these three. Zero. Kind of go back a little bit. Mess with these keyframes a little bit more, like the blur lens. Mess with that. And you should get something like this. That's cool. But let's now duplicate the bottom layer. Drag it above our adjustment layer. Pre-compose it. Move all attributes into this composition. And now we're going to rotoscope it. Freeze. Woods, I'm too damn. Woods, I'm too damn. And we can mess with the keyframes, like I said. Pull this back a little bit more like this. Go negative on a mount. You can see. I would just say, just mess with all the settings to get kind of a smooth look like I just did. Okay. For the next variation, I'm going to be showing you how to do it so then two clips can come together with it. So just give me a second and we'll put that together. So I grabbed two clips to kind of show you guys this as a transitionary effect instead of just a overlay or a background overlay with the rotoscope. I'm going to show you guys how to do it to transition the two scenes. So we have our intro and then you have your second shot. So we'll just play it through. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're going to go back, we're going to go down here, right click, new adjustment layer. Just like before, we're going to grab our sapphire distort chroma. But this time, we're going to go down, we're going to start it like right here. So just trim down your adjustment layer to where you want it to start. Go in a little bit and keyframe it where after the first frame the first one like right there we're going to keyframe a mount and just blur lens for this one it doesn't really matter we're going to go back and you're just going to type in zero you should get this go down a little bit on the second frame and go right back to zero I'm going to probably pull it out just a little bit more, like right here. Can I get this? You can easy ease them. Ease them out. You're going to right click them after you highlight them. Ease out. But yeah, as I showed you guys, those are three different ways to use the Distort Chroma on Sapphire. There'll be more to come. This one was a little bit shorter. I meant to drop this one earlier today, 
But like I said, I'm going to keep dropping these until I hit 30 days. My Instagram and my website are down in the description below. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'm out.